You know, I want to talk right now, but I feel like the tweet I made like a few minutes ago perfectly sums up my opinion about this series. I finished Stranger Things season 4 about an hour ago, almost two hours ago at this point, but like... Point is, I finished uh, the fourth season of Stranger Things and... Yeah, it was as good, even better actually, than I expected. The build up to the climax was amazing. All of the characters were absolutely amazing in this season. Um, like, the climax itself obviously was also very, very good. And um, there's this scene that everybody loves, which I will talk about in a second. And then there's this other scene that everybody loves, which will I will also talk about. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this. Now, before we get into the stuff that I liked about this climax, I first want to talk about the stuff that I actually didn't like. Because, one, that's going to take a lot less time since there was a lot more stuff that I liked. Um, and two, you know, I kind of harshly criticized the, this show because I know how good it is. So, I expect a lot from it. Anyways, let's just get into some of the stuff that I didn't like a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna say it. This this ending, it doesn't work for me. It just really, it really doesn't. They left it open. They open-ended it again. For the fourth fucking time. Can you please, please just give it an actual ending? What the fuck is this? So they f defeat King Vecna, right? They light this bitch on fire, and he he's presumably dead. And, and and I'm like, oh my god, they did it! They killed Vecna. Let's go! And then a few minutes later, Will goes like, nah, bro, he ain't dead. I can still feel this man or something. Like, bro, can you end the show? Can you properly end the show? Is there gonna be fifth season? I do not know. I literally do not know at this point. Because they fucking left it open-ended. Why did you do that? Just give it an ending. Just fucking make them kill Vecna and then move on. Then like end the damn show. Don't do this to me. Because now I'm gonna be anticipating a next season. And on the off chance that they actually do make a fifth season, Please, okay, please, give me this one thing. Don't make it open-ended. Just finish it. Give it an ending. Give every character a solid ending without making a stupid fucking cliffhanger like this. So anyway, I don't really have much more to complain about, so... Uh, there is actually one... Well, one and a half more complaints I have with uh, this conclusion. Um, the first one is a very, very minor one, so I will mention this one first. It is that this scene where Eddie plays his guitar, it, it feels kind of underwhelming. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is an amazing scene, especially since I do love me some metal music. And that's exactly what he's playing here. However, I feel like they could have done more with this, you know? Like, Vecna's weakness is literally music. So, make the character that is playing music more important. You give the villain the weakness of music, and then you make you get a character that plays music and you don't make him fight the villain whose weakness is fucking music? What? There is still many, many good parts about this specific scene, which again, I will get into later in the video. Um, however, for now, I'm just gonna mention the bad parts because like I said prior, negativity first, positivity later. 
that's <laughs> words to live by. My final real problem with this climax is that it feels anticlimactic. Now, this is this one is a little bit complicated for me to explain. Like even I don't fully understand myself here. So, let me try to explain this in the best way possible. So like they have all of this build up, right? They the entire fucking episode they are building up to this very moment. Like at the start, they plan out everything. They go to this weapon shop. They plan out like phases of this plan, and it is all great. They they all all of the characters have to participate in this plan. So like there is a lot, and I mean a lot of build up to this final moment where they finally kill Vecna, and then they just push him out the window. This feels so dry as a finale. Like I get it, right? You have all of this previous stuff. You have the scene where Lucas fights Jason. You have Max being chased down by Vecna. You have Hopper fighting the Demogorgon. You have all of this other stuff. So like, having a good Vecna finale would technically outshine all of that. I get it, okay? But you had two hours and thirty minutes. They could have really spaced out this other stuff with the finale. Like they could have just done that. Like there were there are a lot of parts in this episode that could technically be shortened, and um, if they have done that, then they would have had more time to give this a proper climax. However, I'm not too disappointed. I mean, the climax that we got, although not the one that I had envisioned, it is still very very good, and um, I really don't have anything else to complain about. So let's finally get into the positives. And for the positives, we have everything else. Like genuinely, yeah, this is so good. Even the negatives that I mentioned like earlier in this video, like just now, um. They all get outshined by how much positive there is. This is a great climax. And I'm just gonna start with this scene because I know that everyone, fucking everyone is going crazy about uh, Kalo's performance in this scene and I am too. His performance in this scene is beyond phenomenal. So basically the context here is that Max is dying, and of course, Lucas being very attached to Max is very, very big sad. His emotions feel so real in this scene. Like, I genuinely almost cried. Almost, because you can't make me cry by watching a movie or TV show, like, try me, bitch. But I was this close to crying. It his performance here is so, so good. Like, I genuinely did not expect this. Like, I saw the hashtag trending on Twitter. So, I knew it beforehand that people were going absolutely crazy about this performance. Um, however, I don't like to go along with hype because people have shit taste. But I was glad to be proven wrong, I guess. I mean, the, the performance was great. I enjoyed it a lot, so... Cool, I, I got a win out of this. Okay, anyways, let's now talk about the positives of this scene, because holy shit, there's a lot of positives about this scene. I know I just mentioned a lot of negatives about it, but damn, this scene is good. Again, big metal fan, love metal music, so might be a little bit biased towards this, but... Holy shit! The music pairs so well with the visuals, the intensity of the scene is amazing. The only real other negative that I didn't mention is that it doesn't last long enough. That was such a boomer joke, I'm so sorry. Anyways, yeah. Scene good. Now, as mentioned before in the negatives, they had a 2 hour 
almost a three hour long episode here. And I think that's great. That's also a really big positive for me. Like, they took their time for this one. Even though I'm technically contradicting myself right now because I just now said that it didn't take enough time making a good climax. Forget that, okay? They just straight up made a two and a half hour long episode. Th that's brilliant. I don't see a lot of other shows doing that. Like, most other shows don't have the balls to make an episode longer than an hour. So, you know, I guess I will applaud them for making an almost three hour long episode. Good, good for them. Like, great, that's great. Epic. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of trying to stretch out the positive segments because I've been talking about positive stuff for four minutes and negative stuff for six minutes. And I've been claiming this entire time that I have more positive things to say than negative things. So if the negative segment is longer than the positive one, that would be really contradicting myself. But the thing is, I do not think that anyone wants to hear me repeatedly say that, oh my god, guys, this is so good. And then two seconds later, holy shit, guys, did I tell you guys that this is really, really good? Like, nobody wants to hear that. So, um... Just pretend that I went on a tangent of like 25 minutes about how good the show is. Um, and with that, I'm gonna leave it there. So, in conclusion, how good is the finale of Stranger Things Season 4? Very, very, very good. Like, the length of the episode is very generous. Um, the performances in the episode are so so good like i only mentioned two of the performances but like everyone's performance in this episode was absolutely amazing um the setting of it is also really good like most of the finales in the previous seasons have every every character grouped up in one place however this finale has like one a group is in russia all the way another group is in a random fucking pizza restaurant and then the other group is in the um mansion so like it's more split up, which most people actually don't like. However, me, myself, um, I'm a big fan of that because you can get multiple perspectives from this one episode and one series, which I think is really amazing. Um, so yeah, with all of that, it's really, really good. And I highly recommend it. Um, if you haven't watched Stranger Things ever, just please go watch it. It's, it's quite a long ride. Um, it has four seasons and most of the episodes are an hour or longer. So um, it's gonna take a while to finish probably, but it, it is really worth it. Like I am being forced to watch One Piece right now. So if you do decide to watch Stranger Things, then I, I feel you, homie. Um, anyways, memes aside, everything aside, uh, yeah, this show is great. And that's all that I have to say. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, there is a lot of stuff to talk about. I have a lot of videos planned. Um, so I am probably going to be uploading a lot more frequently again. And, um, yeah. That's it for today. Okay, okay, bye. I'm gonna go to bed now. It's 4 a.m.